Building relationships is probably the single most important thing any health and safety professional has to do in their organization. Not just safety professionals, frontline managers, middle managers, senior managers. If you want to make things safer, healthier, or just drive through some improvements, efficiencies, make changes, you have to build strong relationships with everyone around you on the front line, your colleagues, and your manager. And how do we do this? Well, I guess there are lots of things we can do to build relationships, and I'm gonna talk about just one or two right now. Next week, I'll go into some more detail, some real specific things you can do. For me, this starts with, and I talked about this in yesterday's video, taking personal responsibility. If someone doesn't like you, if someone doesn't listen to you, if doesn't respect you, if someone's resistant to your ideas, I would start by assuming that that is my fault. That it's not their fault. It's my responsibility. And even if it isn't my responsibility, maybe it's all them, they're just stubborn, then it's still my responsibility to try and fix it. I can't change them, but I can change what I do. So. So what exactly do we do? Well, I had this, this question the other week. I had someone ask me, how do I get my boss to like me? How do I get my boss to listen to me? I've got all these problems. I keep telling him why I'm struggling and he won't listen to me. I just don't think he's a very nice person. And well, I thought that's just, that's just the wrong way to look at it. How do I get someone to like me? I think that's the wrong question. I think it's the other way around. If you want someone to like you, you have to like them. If you want someone to listen to you, you have to start by listening to them. If you want them to respect you, you have to first respect them. I mean, this is, this is an old, old, old idea. This isn't, this isn't my idea. I, you know, in the Bible, like thousands of years old, there's this passage which says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You know, we're so quick to accuse other people of not listening or being stubborn or being aggressive or, or being disrespectful that we often fail to see the own, our own faults in the same way, where we, we criticize others, but we don't look at ourselves. There's another passage in the Bible. I can't remember it exactly. It's something about how we fail to see the sty in our neighbor's eye, but we don't see the log in our own. We're very quick to criticize others and we don't see our own faults. And for me, this is, well, we could look, there are other examples of, of this great wisdom. There's um, treat, um, what was it? Treat others the way you wish to be treated. So if you want someone to listen to you, you should listen to them. Gandhi said it in the 20th century. Be the change you want to see. And people, you know, people, when they say that, they, they think it's about being a good person, someone who protects the environment and so on. But actually, for me, this is, this is right down to the, the individual. Be the change you want to see. So if you wish to see an individual person change in their behavior towards you, maybe you need to change your behavior towards them. Stephen Covey said it in his book, the seven habits of highly effective people. Uh, seek first to understand before seeking to be understood. So, I mean, will listening to someone first guarantee that they listen to you? No, no, it won't. I mean, you can listen to them and they might still not listen to you. But I can guarantee you this. If you do not make the effort to listen to them, they will definitely not ever listen to you. So for me, this is just one of the basics. It's one of the minimum requirements in relationships. Please don't fake this. You know, it's like, don't, this is a mistake I made very, very early on in my career when I was trying to get people to like me. I used to walk around pre you know, pretending that I was interested in them. I would pretend to listen to them, but I was only listening with one goal in mind. I was only trying to make friends with one goal in mind, and that was to get them to do what I said. And people can smell that, you know, they can sense it. And they, and they saw me coming a mile away. They thought, uh-oh, here comes Will with a smile on his face. What does he want? No, this has to be completely authentic. You have to truly want to get to know someone, to be truly curious 
in their point of view, in their perspective, and be humble enough to actually consider it and maybe even accept that it is a, it is a valid point of view. So there we are. So um, if you found this useful, here's a tip for you. Don't just you know, click to the next video. Right now, get a pen and paper or get an email open or something and write down, write down a specific action you can take to, to act on this. Specific. Don't just say, I'm going to listen more. No, 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 no. Write down a name of someone that you are struggling to connect with, someone you're struggling to build a relationship with. Write down exactly what behavior you would like to see from them. Do you want them to be less aggressive? Do you listen more, respect you more, pay more attention to you and so on? And then write down exactly what you can do to do the same thing to them first. This is about leading by example. So write down that specific action. And then, well, pay attention to the change. Let me know how that goes. Be, pay attention to what happens. Maybe nothing will happen at all. It may, may happen slowly. But pay attention to it and please connect with me and send me a message because I, I'm really interested. I'm really interested to hear how this goes for you. So I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I'll give some more advice for what it's worth next week. And in the meantime, I wish you all a very happy weekend. So long.